All right, so today on Dual Liberty Firearms, we're gonna be taking a ceramic armor plate and we're gonna be taking an AR-15 chambered in 300 blackout, 5.56, a 22 long rifle, 270, and a 30 out six. And we're gonna see what we can do to a level four ceramic plate, which we got over there. So we're gonna shoot at it and see what happens. We have some uh, penetrating rounds for the 5.56, just in case we can't get through it with anything else. All right, so this is the 300 blackout versus level four ceramic plate. Let's see what we can get. Oh wow, all right. So it stopped the round, it's a slow moving round, but it's a big round, but it looks like it shredded the entire front piece there. Definitely broke up some ceramics here. And you see that's about where the bullet penetrated there. No exit, so we're good to go, so far. So now we have what most ARs are normally chambered in, 5.56. Five, and these are FMJ rounds, so we're gonna see what we can do with this. One shot. All right. All right, so that second shot, can't really tell where we hit, but uh, there's a little bulge on the back here, but nothing really devastating. So two shots, one 300 blackout, one 556, five, you're still alive. All right, well, we know it's gonna stop 300 blackout and 556, five, but I forgot to start with this. So this is the 22 long rifle. And it did nothing. You know, it'll stop it, level four armor. Alright, now this is the round I'm a little bit curious about. This is green tip 5.56 five, penetrating round. So let's see what we can do. All right, well, we could tell that 5.56 armor piercing definitely blew out some more ceramics there. Well, penetrating. Oh, but it did not penetrate the armor. It's got a big dent in the back, but you're still alive. All right, so now, I forgot to do this before I swapped my uppers, but we have a 300 blackout. These are subsonic rounds, so these are gonna be a little bit quieter, but they're heavier, 205 grain, moving real slow. Alright, so, looks like we may have hit dead center with that one. Definitely a bigger bulge on the back side now, we're busting through it all. But we are still yet to break through to the other side. So, you're still alive after four shots. Alright, now we're going to step it up, we're going to use my Remington 700, chambered in 270. So we're going to see what we can do. Ooh, if I can even hit it. Oh yeah, we definitely hit it. Oh yeah, blew right through the back of it. Clear hole. Clear hole right through the back. 
So looks like this level four is not gonna stop a 270. Just for fun, we're gonna shoot it with 30 out six now. All right, now that we know the 270 is gonna go through, I definitely think that this 30 out six will go through. So last shot, here we go. All right, so all in all, we shot a 22 long rifle, 300 blackout, subsonic, and supersonic round, and 5.56 and 5.56 penetrating round. Now, all those rounds didn't go through, and then we decided to take out the 270, and we blew a hole through it, that center hole right there, that tore it. Then the 30 out 6 blew a little bit cleaner hole right through the back of it. So, level four by Prevail will definitely stop 556, 300 blackout, but not 270 or 30 out six. Now, it may have stopped it if that was the first round I used. I don't know, but either way, you could definitely take a lot of hits and still live. All right, so right away, first thing I see is a styrofoam pad. 